After a base of crusted saw, we give the entire model a dry brush of orc blood, followed by a dry brush of orc blood with 20% warlock purple. A wash of red tone adds an extra depth to the armour and unites the purple highlights with the red base coat. The edges of the armour and the muscle areas get a highlight of orc blood mixed with 20% dragon red and a more extreme highlight of 30% dragon red. With the armour done, we give the entire flesh area a couple of coats of tan flesh. You can also apply a layer of leather brown down first to help cover the red. Highlights of tan flesh with skeleton bone focus on the other half of the flesh. Start with a 25% skeleton bone mix, then move up to a 50% mix. Start the teeth, horns and nails with leather brown. Paint as close to the arm as you can or defining where they start. From there we do a base coat of desert yellow, leaving the leather brown at the bottom and feathering it so it looks like it's dirty. Adding a skeleton bone to desert yellow, you can then highlight the tips of the horns and the points of the teeth. Angel Green works as a base for the eyes, to help define the shape of it. Follow the edges of the eyelids until you have a clean oval shape. When moving towards the edge, make sure you use lots of small brush strokes to slowly move outwards. This way you have maximum control.
With green skin and then goblin green, try to paint a crescent highlight focusing on the centre of the eye. The important thing here is to give the impression of a sphere with an inner light rather than trying to highlight just the top. 